All right. So, um, hi, Buliana. Um, uh, just to quickly introduce ourselves to the audience, my name is Chitong, uh, co founder of Engage Rocket. And today is my privilege to be speaking with uh, Ibuliana Wati Suno, or uh, Ibuliana, as uh, we, uh, we call her. And uh, she's the director for human uh, capital at uh, BCA. And I'm very, very uh, pleased to have her on this, this uh, chat today. Um, so, welcome, uh, Buliana. Thank you, Chitong. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm really happy to have this chance, you know, to do a bit of uh, sharing and talking with uh, Chitong and uh, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I always tell Buliana that uh, I, I learn so much every time I talk to her, like every single time. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to today because I've got, we've got a bunch of questions that we're going to go through. Um, but very quickly, maybe to begin with, could you tell us a little bit about your journey with BCA? Um, it's been quite an interesting one. Okay, uh, uh, I joined this bank uh, in 1991 and actually this is the only company I worked for for about almost 32 years already. <laughs> and uh, for me, uh, you know, the way I see it, it's like as long as I feel that I uh, improve uh, in this bank, you know, being developed and uh, a lot of chance to learn and everything, I think it's fine uh, to stay in this uh, in one company. So I joined the company as an MT, management trainee, for a year. And after that, since my background is information system, so they, they uh, placed me in uh, the IT division for about almost uh, six years. Uh, from there, it, uh, at that time, I handled the project in integrated banking system. Uh, it's like, you know, we uh, before it's not, uh, all the branches are not online. So from this project, we make it all online. So everybody can do their transaction anywhere at any branch in, uh, in all over Indonesia. And uh, for that project, I, I learned about deposit and, and learned about loan. And after that, you know, uh, uh, I moved to HR because, you know, uh, the management want me to uh, do something with the HR system. So the, the, actually the, uh, the, the connection, you know, why from IT to HR is also about system. You know, so transfer that to uh, uh, do uh, things on the HR management system, you know. That's uh, on developing, building the system, then I learned a lot about the HR practices because we have to know how we do things, you know, the competencies, job evaluation and uh, compensation and benefit and everything is all built in the uh, whole system. So that's how I learned about HR and I started to like uh, the HR area, you know. So uh, from that, almost every two uh, years, I know I got new projects and new projects and keep uh, learning more and more about HR. And that's how I end up with a current position as an HR director for BCA. And this is my fifth year already going to be six years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't want to let you go, I think. Uh, I, I mean, Buliana is so so humble, right? I mean, for someone who has accomplished so much uh, in your career, I mean, things like facing down the unions to um, to to building and developing big projects internally within the bank, um, if stakeholder management, even outside the bank, investor relations, uh, Buliana is very, very humble when she's uh, <laughs> walking through her, 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 her experiences like this. And uh, I, I think one of the things that, um, I, I don't know whether you consider this one of your uh, career challenges, lah, but but I, I over the past two, three years, right, the, the workforce has really changed, right? And uh, I, I know many who have considered this as one of their career, either highlights or biggest challenges, right? What, what, what are some of the biggest, like, how, how, like, did you find that to be the case for you? And, and what are some of the trends that you've seen over this uh, two yes. years that have changed things uh, a lot for you? Yes, yes. So uh, that's true, uh, Chitong. A lot of things has uh, changed so fast lately, you know, these few years, right? Especially the pandemic also accelerate all the changes. Actually, you know, uh, when I joined the bank, it was also uh, 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 like a quantum leap uh, time of the bank because, you know, that's, that's when we started to uh, add a lot of 
branches, you know, because the government at that time uh, loosened the regulation on adding branches for uh, banks, right, in Indonesia. It was 1990s, right? The, and uh, from that time, you know, we do a lot of uh, changes on employees and everything, you know, because we need to fill in all the employees all for the new branches and also the system. That's how we, we get online and everything, right? And uh, during, I, I would say, uh, all the time, we, we do a lot of changes until uh, before pandemic, it was really a big uh, a disruption on the uh, industry, right? A lot of technology changed everything, right? Uh, we we uh, At that time, we realized already the competition is not about banking anymore. It's not only that, you know, our competitors is all the startup, you know, the, the fintech that's not uh, in the bank area, but they start to, you know, uh, do uh, business on the payment area and everything, which actually disrupt the banking uh, industry. Uh, that's actually we, uh, the main challenge at that time, you know. So a lot of uh, pro uh, program preparation on uh, also the business strategy change, you know, how we really go uh, uh, focus on digital uh, as our main uh, uh, business model, you know, digital transaction, digital uh, on almost everything we do. But um, it's accelerated because of pandemic, you know, pandemic mm -hmm. comes, you know, without any sign, you know, suddenly pandemic happened to everyone in this world, you know. So <laughs> this accelerate all the plan and this, the, 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 the thinking that we have already, you know, to go digital. This is really uh, fast on everything, you know. The way people do things is changing, you know. Uh, our customer do transaction is... Uh, uh, almost uh, hardly go to the branch anymore because everybody was scared, you know. We do uh, open account online and everything, which usually uh, at that time, at first we plan like about two years later, we will do everything online. But now it suddenly happened. We uh, all pull out a uh, pull up front, you know. So mm. uh, uh, it's really challenging. But fortunately, you know, uh, we can manage uh, go through this all very well. And uh, during this pandemic time, the bank uh, performed even much better than uh, before, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, like, uh, for example, the uh, opening account uh, now uh, in a month, like, we can uh, open like about uh, 14,000 account, you know, which... Actually, yeah, which actually before, if we do it through brands, only two, three thousands, you know. So, wow. so many things happen that really unpredicted, but it's uh, luckily because uh, the team, you know, I, I would say everything is about people, right? The team and everyone can work together very well, you know, so that we can face this uh, uh uh, unexpectedly very well too thank you yeah uh, I, I i think that is one of the features right that um yeah. working with vca uh, these years uh, you guys have always been very uh, forward thinking right when it comes i i know the investments that you've been making in digital have been many years so the acceleration actually was i mean to, to hear the the uh, the efficiencies that you guys have gotten uh, it's amazing and uh, i know sa same same ways right i think you've been uh, on the people side, you've always been investing heavily um, in growing people, in uh, and even I, I know recently even like thinking about how do we craft and instill that sense of purpose right, within yeah. the people. Like, and and it's so it's so forward thinking uh, because I, I know this is something that is going to be the differentiator in the talent market uh, in the long run. Right? What what are, what are some of the things that you've you've uh, been doing to instill that sense of purpose within people okay. and PCA? Yeah. Chitong, actually, we just uh, launched uh, our uh, biography, uh, BCA biography book, you know, uh, last two weeks ago, you know. Uh, mm. And uh, I'm in charge of, uh, you know, uh, making sure, like, this book, uh, the content and everything, right? Um, 
when I uh, realized the history of this uh, bank, you know, actually back then the first uh, owner of this bank is the Sudono Salim's family, you know, uh, they already uh, put focus on two things, you know. Uh, it was like early 90s or late 80s, right? Uh, people and technology. So uh, they believe that, you know, key success of this company is that uh, we have to really invest on these two things. And, you know, fortunately, you know, I mean, they really mean it, you know, technology is one thing, maybe a lot of company will do on technology because it's like, you can see the result, everything fast and everything is really obvious. You can see the result, right? But people, you know, people sometimes, you know, even uh, when I'm like uh, doing my things, right, proposing something and, they, and everything, they always ask, what's the bottom line? You know, it's really hard to really, uh, you can deliver result. Uh, that's really uh, everybody can notice and see, right? But uh, this company is really serious on that. So the way I see it, like uh, uh, the mindset that uh, later on I try to uh, draw down to all the leaders is like this, you know, in uh, people. Let's say since we are we were born until the university years, you know somebody is really uh, being fed by by uh, you know parents, uh, your teachers, or maybe uh, during the university year, your professor and everything. So we are like being fed by many people, right? Many things, knowledge, and everything, you know. And by the time we start working, you know, it's time to contribute something, you know from whatever that we already uh, get from, uh, you know, those that fed us, then it's time for us to really uh, contribute and also uh, develop uh, also, right? Uh, so uh, if somebody choose from that uh, age, you know, I mean, the, the time that you start to contribute and then until you retire, if these people choose our company as a place that for them to really do their contribution, so we as a company have to really appreciate their choice, we have to feel really blessed, you know, because they choose us. And it's our obligation to give the best, best time for them during their most productive time uh, a period of life, you know. So that's how we... Um, uh, put the mindset of our our leaders you know so it's your uh responsibility that you have to focus on it's not that you always ask for the result only but your responsibility mm -hmm. first to develop the people who choose to be in your team who choose to contribute in your team and everything right that's how we we, we kind of like you know uh switch the thinking you know because like a traditional company usually will think that I pay you, so what's the result for me? You know, we mm -hmm. we we try to switch that. This person choose us, so what's our what is our obligation to the person? You know, mm -hmm. so develop them. If they are being developed, they are being treated well, and we think of, uh, automatically they will give the result. You know, so mm -hmm. that's how we feel. Uh, oh, you know, how we do things like this uh, really uh, deliver all the results that you see today. Yeah, I, I, that makes a lot of sense. And one of the things that I can imagine is difficult is while we can, we can help the leaders to understand this, my guess anywhere from 50 to 70% of uh, managers, leaders, they, they will find it difficult to, uh, to accept or to understand sometimes, right? And how do you go about supporting them uh, and, and putting that focus on people growth, high performance, um, especially when, you know, BCR has uh, yeah. over, over almost 30,000 employees, right? And from so many different educational backgrounds, different working environments, different family backgrounds, how do you, how do you support such a broad group of uh, leaders and people? Yeah, uh, so uh, there's always two approach, uh, Chitong. Uh, first, you know, um, I would say uh, we provide uh, them all the things that they need first. 
uh, you know, like for example, the training program and, and also like uh, we provide buddies, we provide mentor, we provide coach and everything, you know, we have to uh, prepare all those first before we really, we really ask for uh, from them, you know. Now, how do we ask from them to make sure they keep uh, 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 focus on developing people like that, you know, I actually I put on their KPI, put on their KPI, you know, I have the luxury of uh, having like 15% uh, of the KPI, overall KPI is 100%, you know, 15% is allocated for HR development, you know. It's, it it was a very hard uh, uh yeah. fight you know to get that fifteen percent but from there you know I I never want to reduce the percentage you know with the business people usually they they feel that this is not that important you know it's like if if the business target is higher and everything they start to Liana why why don't you give me a five percent ten percent for HR no way you know so fifteen uh, percent is for HR every year I make a KPI that's really adjust to what's the need at that year and everything, you know. But, you know, uh, again, the key is like, you can put on their KPI, but you have to really be with them, you know, provide all the what they need, you know, uh, be at their side, uh, uh, beside them, and, uh, you know, try to make sure that uh, they can achieve it well, you know. So the, the, the target is made not to uh, kind of like uh, challenge them or or let's say if they don't achieve and see uh, what I, I say you don't follow you know but we, we we keep reminding them we keep providing them you know all the help that they need to make sure they achieve that 15 percent mm -hmm. so you've so, got the for example um sorry to interrupt uh, Buliana, but yeah. I can I, I know you guys have the one to many right which is the HR policies the training and and the yes development programs, your MDPs and ODPs, right? But I like how do you deal with the one to few and even the one to ones? Because there are always going to be some managers that struggle with this, some leaders that struggle with that. And I, I know that HR business partners for all the account wheels, uh, all the regions and, mm -hmm. and the different, mm -hmm. uh, they work really hard, right? So how, how do you equip all of them? Like it's, it's, it's a whole network of support that you need to provide, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, besides uh, the the leader itself, we equip the leader itself, you know, with all those uh, uh, programs, infrastructure and everything, and also the KPI. We also uh, give them like buddies, uh, like every level now, you know, we have like head branch uh, buddy, we have like uh, digital buddy, we have like uh, uh, account officer buddy and everything. So we, we make sure that they have someone uh, in their uh, daily uh, activity where, where they can, uh, you know, like uh, ask uh, for guidance and everything. And we also have mentor, coach and everything, you know. But actually, uh, for me, I believe uh, the main uh, thing, the main most important thing is the mindset first. They, they, they believe on uh, developing people is the key for their success, you know. So that's the mindset, you know. Uh, as Chitong knows, we have like company values, the corporate values, right? Uh, corporate values is developed actually uh, to make sure that uh, this company sustain with this value. It's not only for the existing employee, right? It's for the newcomers, new new employees and everything. So make sure whatever, how, however we do things is delivered to the new ones, right? And uh, we have like an EVP employee value proposition that uh, actually uh, uh, is a commitment to all the employees that uh, the first day you, you join the company, we commit to make you a better person. And that mindset, you know, we put, uh, make sure on it's in everybody's mindset, you know, by giving them chances to, you know, uh, uh, learn things and to, uh, try things, you know, there's also like blameless culture here if they do things uh, uh, that we know uh, during uh, doing new things, everything must be. Uh, sometimes there's a mistake or there's something that fail and I think there's no, uh, uh, we don't blame them, you right know. So we, mm. they, they can go ahead and try more and more, you know. So uh, the whole package and 
uh, before maybe she don't uh, remember some uh, some survey we do on uh, team engagement uh, shows that the engagement is really uh, the score is really high but they're still silo you know within especially branch and the uh, uh, head office and everything so uh, at that time I think that uh, the engagement is really high already within uh, among the member of the team, but within team seems like there's a silo. So we create a, a new new uh, new things. Right? We call one BCA, one soul, one goal, uh, one goal, one soul, one joy. You know, we create that with all the programs and everything to make sure everybody know that everybody here has only one goal and one soul to 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 uh, achieve the goal and uh, uh during uh, achieving the goal everybody was happy and the result will be enjoyed together and now you know uh we face like the pandemic everybody is kind of worried about things happening you know that's really uh, a lot of uh, uncertainty and also uh, internal, we have like uh, issue on gap gen uh, generation gap because BCA during the uh, crisis uh, at 1998 at that time, uh, starting year 2000 until year 2010, we uh, implement zero growth policy. So there's no recruitment, only very few recruitment. And we feel uh, now we, we, we kind of face the impact of it. So we have like a gap generation. All uh, the leaders that's uh, going to retire, the, the one that replaced the leader, the successor is still quite young with length of service is kind of um, very minimal, right? So we introduce now, uh, we call Senada, Senantiasa di sisi anda, like the, the uh, you know, the... Uh, the slogan we give to um, uh, to customer customer we always say always by your side to customer i take it uh, to inside always by your side to employee so mm -hmm. you know now all these young leaders is accompanied by all the senior leaders the senior leaders you know so we we implement the senantiasa di sisi anda to all the these uh, young leaders so they have uh, somebody to talk to, somebody to mentor them, to 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 become their body and everything. There are a series of program for them too. So I would say as an HR people, a person, we, we need to know what's going on in uh, the company, uh, the business, and also you know how the uh, the employee feel and everything. We try to uh, you know how to. Uh, you know, fill the gap, you know, fill, fill whatever they need uh, at the right time. See? Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, all the new leaders, you know, if you come to VCA, you will find the uh, branch manager mostly are very young. You know, we even have like some branch manager under 30, wow. <laughs> Still under 30, okay. 20 something years, right? Uh, but they already show the values. They already uh, really know how to develop people and everything. I would say that, you know. Okay. Okay. Um, last question from me, and uh, then we can wrap up. What are some of the main priorities that you have uh, for the second semester this year and for the years to come for yourself uh, as a leader and, and also for this year? Okay. So uh, for for for. This uh, two years uh, ahead, you know, I would uh, focus on uh, developing all these new leaders, new leaders, you know, to strengthen again the values. Uh, lately, I introduced the BCA Leader Plus, you know, uh, there's uh, uh, leadership values, you know. I would say that maybe uh, usually company have corporate values, you know, but hardly company have leadership values, right? I don't know, maybe maybe you know better, you know, but we create a leadership value which uh, really uh, the, the, the basic of this value is on uh, servant leadership and also uh, transformational leadership. So as a leader, you have to serve, but don't forget, transform. you have to keep transforming. That's how we survive now. 
So uh, th that will be uh, my main focus uh, for uh, these two coming years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you shared a lot in a very short period of time, actually, Buliana. And, and I, I mean, you could go on forever. I, I don't know. Every, every, every answer you give, I'm, I'm learning something new, right? Um, but uh, yeah, out of respect for your time, um, we'll uh, call it a close. So thank you very much for joining us today, uh, Buliana. And uh, once again, this has been uh, Chitong from Engage Rocket. I've been had the opportunity to speak with Ibuliana from BCA today to learn from her. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this conversation. Thank you, Chitong. Thank you, everyone.